Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to our Skyrim series here on YouTube and also here on Twitch. We are chatting uh, about Fallout Boy and also looking for the last stone of Baron's Eye. We have a couple more locations to check out. We have all agreed that my wife is the far superior person compared to me. Um, But yeah, well, welcome back. It's episode 307. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, we were just talking about how Fallout Boy's Save Rock and Roll uh, quote unquote has some bops on it but also is the in my opinion the worst <laughs> album and uh, that Fallout Boy has ever made and also a, a direct like selling out of who Fallout Boy is and uh, yeah we were just talking about how much I hate it uh, Void says that infinity on high is the best and that's the only right answer so my problem is that i only see fallout boy uh albums albums by the cover art so which one what songs does infinity on high have on it my answer for favorite fallout boy album this is gonna blow your fucking mind because no one would ever in their right mind say that this is the best album and i don't know that it is the best but i do think it is the most heartfelt and and the best written and that is Foley Adu uh their album Freely a gray man's coffin which is an insane insane one walrus thanks for the gifted sub to whack oh my god wax said my sub just ran out give me one minute and then walrus said hold my beer i got you <laughs> thank you walrus holy shit is Fallout Boy also a Bethesda thing? Uh, Fallout Boy? All right, so I think we must have this Stone of Baron's Eye. Fallout Boy is the Vault Tech finger guns dude, right? Wait, I need to, I need to go back through that. What does that mean? What does that mean? All right, so what's next, uh, Eldemsi? If you would not mind, I can accept fully ado. Fully ado? Oh! Fully Ado is perfect. I was at the height of my Fallout Boy love. Ah, uh, oh, I was so happy. Not particularly a fan of Fallout Boy, if I'm being particularly honest. Here's the thing: if you were, I'm a 29 year old, right? I'm almost 30. If you were a 29 year old, currently, that means that you were growing up, and sort of, and if you were anything like me, you were sort of like realizing what College of Winter hold. We definitely have that one. 100% we have that one. We've lurked every inch of the College of Winterhold. So what is number 23? The joke went so over my head, Leroy. I'm losing my grip on reality! Caroline, thank you so much for the follow. How's it going? Uh, if you're like the, vaguely the same age as me, you were the kind of person who started seeing Fallout Boy... All Out Boy videos were making it to MTV at the time when MTV was actually playing good music. Pete Wentz with antlers on his head. Uh, this just this like incredibly lyrically gifted game. songs that also have so much fucking heart to them. Oh, it's great. Uh, Hobbs Fall Cave. Okay. Hobbs Fall Cave. Um... And you and you like fall in love with Fallout Boy and or you listen to them quite a bit. Hobbs Fall Cave, where is this? And then after all of the like great, you know, uh, years of Fallout Boy love, they release. They go very mainstream, and they release. Where is Hobbs Fall Cave? MTV playing music and actual music videos. It was insane. Um, Hubspot Cave is north. Okay. They release Save Rock and Roll. Go on tour with Trap... With, uh... With, uh... Oh, my God. Was it Travis Scott? Shit. Was it Travis Scott? No. Who the fuck did they go on tour with? I saw them on tour with somebody, and it was just like... Oh, my God. It was such a... Like, they're still a great band. It was a great show. Oh, my God. It was Wiz Khalifa. Holy shit, it was Wiz Khalifa. They had, Wiz Khalifa had blow up blunts that they tossed out into the crowd at the start of the show. Everyone was high as fuck. Uh, and it was such a like bad vibe. It was such a, it, Fall Out Boy pl played a great set, but they're playing this like, Hobbs Fall, Hobbs Fall. There it is, beautiful. 
they're playing this like this album which does have some bops on it i'll be honest but this album which is like so fallout boy was always like cynical with a purpose right like cynical with a purpose and then and then and then they like <laughs> drop the purpose and also drop the cleverness with save rock and roll in so many ways Ugh. It hurt. Travis Scott from Fortnite. All right, we have Hobbs Fall Cave, which we've definitely cleared before. However, uh, I don't know for sure that we have the Stone of Baron's Eye. So that's what we're doing here. Besides just talking about Fallout Boy constantly. Anyways, that's my perspective. Thanks for all the uh, hints on where to find uh, Hobbs Fall Cave. All right. We need to quick save because we haven't done it in years. Look at this little boy. He looks like he, he has to poop. Oh, hello. It's a necromancer. Uh, Walrus, I, I doubt it. I don't know. I don't know that it's Meg's type of game. Maybe. Maybe. That's a good question. I don't know. I think maybe in like five years, Walrus, we're going to look back on that conversation, on that, on that question. The question is, would Meg ever play the first couple hours of Skyrim for a playthrough? Uh, I just don't know. Megan is like me two years ago. She has a PC. She's had it for like six months. Uh, and she's like very, uh, she's having a lot of fun, but we kind of like other than the Sims, which she, she's played forever. We kind of don't know what game she likes. She likes Minecraft, but also I think almost any gamer likes Minecraft, you know? Um, especially the first time you encounter it. Abby, that is a beautiful comment. Abby, I love your comment so much that I'm going to read it out loud right now because of the joy that it is going to bring every other person who hears it. Abby says, I'm pretty convinced. We couldn't spoil Skyrim for Ryan even if we tried. He'll just skip every major part of the message and come to his own very wrong conclusion. Yeah, I think that's right. Seven days to die in Valorant. Right, but like in a year, will we look back and be like, Megan liked Valorant because it was the first shooter she got to play on mouse and keyboard, you know? Or would it have been the same with like any other game, Apex, and she got to play it with friends, you know? I don't know. I can't wait to see in five years, Megan, ideally, you know, if this channel keeps doing well and we keep having a lot of fun here and, and Megan wants to, that's the most important thing. If she wants to, like, ideally, she'll, uh, I was going to charge Volendrung. Hopefully she'll play some different games. And uh, we'll get to, I'll let, she'll just get to figure it out, you know? Boy, I hate it when you slow me like this, you little shit. See you, Walrus. Yeah, tell the wife we said hello. Bye. Bye. I'm kind of like that with Overwatch. I really feel like the game isn't great anymore, but it's the first shooter I ever played. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Abby has a crippling Valorant addiction as well. Abby, I'm stoked. I just hit uh, Silver 2 earlier today. I've been playing like one ranked game every other day for a while now. I just hit Silver 2 and I'm freaking so proud of myself. Does that put me in the bottom half of all Valorant players currently playing the game? Yes, it does. <laughs> Should I really be proud of it? I'm not sure. If we missed one, we'll go backwards through the list. Oh my god, I hope we don't miss one. I hope we don't miss one. Oh shit. Gold 2 Sage main? Oh man, I can only hope to be that good someday. Alright. Our two-handed is honestly up to... Level 85, I think, chat. Did you see this? Oh, man. We have a, de we have a decision ahead of us. I think our, our two-handed is now up to level 85. It is. That means it's time to get Dawnbreaker out again and start going ham with our one-handed weapons. Oh, my God. Wow. We're strong. We're doing actual damage these days. Master Necromancer's about to fuck me up. To fuck me up. 
Blurry face says, uh, have you got the ethereal crown before? Uh, we do have the ethereal crown. This is funny because I, I, I sometimes forget that some of the people who are watching the stream, uh, watching the stream right now have not watched or do not know that I have a, uh, a 300 episode long, <laughs> 300 episodes long every day, daily playthrough on YouTube. And we just got the ethereal crown recently. I don't know if blurry face knows that, or if blurry face only watched part of it or, uh, if somebody just wandered in randomly from Twitch, but yeah, we got it. My wife is actually wearing it in the game right now because um, she looks hot with it on. <laughs> what about dual wielding next? There's an idea. I bet it would be here, chat. What do you guys think? LDMC, am I warm here? Or am I still cold? Enchanter's Primer. Actually, nope. Oh. Red hot. We already have it. Fuck. All right. Was that twenty two or twenty three? I'm doing the ethereal quest right now, and I'm super lost in the first dungeon. It's so incredible. The ethereal quest is very cool. Speaking of the Ethereum wars, right there. That was twenty three. Uh oh. So what's twenty four? Uh oh. <laughs> Drum roll, please, chat. Somebody type PB, 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 PB in the chat. Drum roll, please. What is number 24, El Dempsey? PB, 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 PB. Winterhold in Ingvild? <gasps> I've been there before. Oh, no. Oh, no. Never should have come here. We do have the dainty slowed one. Assistant Necromancer. Oh no. Okay. We're in, we're we're we might be in oh shit. We might be in trouble then. Hmm. We're gonna have to go to uh Ingvild's Barrow. That that's good actually, because I do have a miscellaneous quest to step inside of Ingvild's Barrow again. Enter Ingvild Barrow. That's the one with the flowy, the, the glowy lights, I think, right? That was Ingvild's Barrel. Unless this one would also be up here. I found the stream randomly. Welcome in, blurry face. Welcome in. Oh, hi, friends. <gasps> Chat! Is that it? Do I see it? Or am I looking at the wrong thing? Oh, no. Oh! I can't see. If It might be right there. Ryan, what's up, Matt? I'm so weak, I'm so weak, I'm so weak, I'm so weak. Detect life, by the way. Oh, let's hit him with the with the arrow because we could actually really use a... Uh, we could actually really use a, another soul or two. Shit. Give me your soul. Give me your soul. I just fired directly into the middle of that light. Did I just get killed by that? No. Did I save? Oh, shit. You went to Ingle Barrow. This one's Ingvild Barrow. Are you sure? Um, Where's the one I'm thinking of? Hmm, maybe you're right. Maybe it's that one. Ingle Barrow is cleared. Ingvild Barrow. Huh, okay. Cool. Third tries the charm. What's up? Do you, uh, do you want cut content, cut content fact? Yes, please. Please, Matt, please. I'm so sorry. Yes, please. I'm so sorry, Matt. Yes, please give it to me. Come here, you little shit. Come here, you little shit. Come here, you little shit. Come here. You fucker. There's a cut spell that turns you into a skeever. You can use it if you're like stuck. Oh no. Oh no. This is not good. I'm just gonna hit you with all these. Have that copy and paste ready. Give me your soul. 
Give me your soul. It sounds so fucking metal. And also heal. If you use it, you're stuck like that forever. You can barely use weapons. Camera is stuck underneath the skeever's belly. Oh my god, that ramped up so fast, that comment. You're stuck like that forever? Listen, you need to stop it. Do not... Nope, fuck you. Alright, this sucks. I hate this ice. This ice is so annoying. That's insane, by the way, Matt. Thank you for that fact one. Are they dodging my fucking arrows? I'm fucked. Look at this guy walking. Somebody did a whole playthrough while stuck like a skeever? What? No way to turn back. That's funny. Listen, you fucker. Just die already! We're just going for it. We're just sprinting. I swear, they're all raising each other from the dead. Are they raising themselves from the dead, or is he just weak? Oh, no. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, no. You can't raise yourself from the dead. What's happening here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Is that everybody? Wow. Woof. Barrel Dingho says, well, plans change. What did I miss? We are on the last. The last. Uh, Stones of Baron's Eye. I swear these guys are. Are raising themselves from the dead. I swear I already killed this guy 16 times. March for death didn't work because they had wards up. Oh, okay. I think they were taking turns raising each other from the dead right there. Actually. Oh, buddy. That was stressful. Okay, so I thought that I might have seen the actual stone right here. Unless it was supposed to be back in that room. I saw something pink. Oh, it was just the, the pink of this black soul gem shit. Damn it. So that mean it, mu it means it must be Ingvild Barrow. Okay. Well, that's good. We know where it is now. We've been into all 24 spots. Many of them twice. But now we know. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Corey Taylor intensifies. Wait, Corey Taylor from... Uh, what's the name of that TV show? What's the name of that TV show? Oh, my God. I can picture it. What is the name of that TV show? With Feeny? And Topanga? Corey Taylor is Slipknot? Wait, what's the name of the kid from that TV show with Feeny and Topanga then? Ingvild Barrow. Oh, it's here. I told you, I have cleared it, chat. I have cleared it. My, Ryan, my heart is breaking. Oh, man. Uh-oh. So we might actually have... Boy Meets World. Thank you, Arena. Holy shit. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Abby. Listen, I'm sorry. I've been streaming for three and a half hours. I'm just dumb sometimes. Uh, oh, no. We need to retrieve the journals. So we've actually technically been here before. I believe this is the place where Aaron Dill, the fucker, was... Uh, oh, buddy. Was he... Was he luring people out here, killing them, and then using them for his necromancy? Specifically women for his necromancy? Is that right? Nah, nah. Let me explore it, Eldemsey. I also need to grab the journals as well. We only got the quest after we'd already been here. The stamina... The, uh... The, uh... The suspense is killing me here. My brother loves Boy Meets World. I love Topanga. Topanga is a very incredible character. Honestly. Topanga is, a. Uh, and in no way, shape, or form... Like, I in no way, shape, or form had a crush on Topanga. I just wanted to be Topanga when I was a kid. Topanga's awesome. 
All right, so we've read all of these before, so that's why I'm ignore ignoring them. I'm not reading them. Didn't Corey Taylor replace Charlie Sheen in Two and a Half Men? I don't know if that's the case, but I hadn't thought about about uh, Charlie Sheen in two years. I had I had gone two years without thinking about Charlie Sheen. And I think my life was maybe better for it, actually. Topanga assisted in my gay awakening. Abby, that's what I'm saying. I'm just a lesbian at heart. Let's be honest. Like, I... TikTok thinks I'm a lesbian. I love Topanga so much. And, on, and only in a, like, I want to be you kind of way. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so I think this might be the throne room. Yes, it is. Charlie Sheen who? Exactly. Exactly. Girl Meets World isn't as good. Is there a remake of Boy Meets World, which is Girl Meets World? Wait, really? Also, Ashton Kutcher is the one who replaced? Fuck. Oh my god, I really hope we have a, a Stone of Baron's Eye in here somewhere. I really hope we have a Stone of Baron's Eye in here somewhere. I hope and I pray, because otherwise that means that we have to go back to the drawing board and I have no idea what to do. I really don't want the bummer of not knowing. What does this button do again? I don't remember. Have you seen any more of Arcane? I have not. Okay. Love that. I have not. I've still, I'm still in like the middle of the second episode. Probably be here, right? I don't know. Oh, man. I know Corey Taylor is in Slipknot. I was joking around. I almost put, or was that Jonathan Davis, but decided on brevity. There's a journal. It's okay, Baron, uh, Baraldino. You don't have to lie to us. It's okay. You can just admit it. You didn't know. You didn't know who it was. It's okay. What journal is very close to you? I'm not sure. I just clicked it. I'm not. I just clicked it. My bad. I wasn't looking. Um. Hmm. Probably Kira Knightley and Pirates of the Caribbean. Incredible, Jenna. Incredible. You got this one already, I think. Fuck. Oh no. F's in the chat. Is that real? No. Oh no. Oh no. Check the journals for me real quick. I mean, I'm going to finish looking. I'm going to finish looting this place, so. Um 1 3 and 4 are the ones we have. And now we have two as well, which is the last one. Yeah, I don't think we... I don't think... I think we already have it. Shit. Well, well, well. Uh, LDMC, do you have off the top of your head any... Any that you think are in particular uh, good candidates for ones that I might have forgotten? Or like ones we were just like, oh yeah, we have that one. And then we didn't actually go. College of Winterhold? Sure. Yes. Great great idea. Let's do that. Let's do that. And on this one, you can just tell me where it would be. Let's let's track it down. Let's try and track it down today. This is why I keep track on a spreadsheet. How does one play Skyrim without Sky UI? I don't know. I've been doing it for a long time though. 305 episodes so far. <laughs> uh, with lots of enjoyment, I think is a good answer. With tons of enjoyment, honestly. Painfully and carefully. I do have a lot of pain when I... I select the right thing, but it clicks the wrong thing, but such is my commitment to vanilla. It's in the Archmage Chambers. Oh, I definitely have it. Fuck. Uh, we'll check. We'll check. Any any second most likely ones, El Dempsey? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. 
Let's get down to business. Um, all right. So we want to go uh, back here. Treasury house, maybe. Uh, we were there, right? We were just there. Did we actually? I'm sure you've made no. If it's in there, you owe Chad a sub. I will gladly do it. I just say it's a gladly. Have you leaving the college? Really? Gladly. Gladly. All right, I'm gonna look very closely, but. Dora the Explorer. I reverted to not using uh, Sky UI when I removed the mods ahead of the anniversary edition. Oh, yeah. With all that excitement. I was surprised how well I got along without it. First off, I could use all of you. Hmm. Mm, left under the bed under the wold's head. Bed's here. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Shit! Uh. Oh no. Actual F in chat. Actual F in chat. Did you get the one in the Hall of the Dead in Whiterun? Where exactly, precisely was it in the Hall of the Dead in Whiterun? F's in chat. Hydrate me, daddy. Cheers, Wolf. Or, sorry. Cheers, Whack. Mmm. Well, well, well. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I am going to spend a little bit here just making sure with L. Dempsey's help, help if L. Dempsey's into it. Um, and if we cannot, uh, if we can't figure it out in the next couple minutes, then, hey, you know how much I love vanilla? I'll figure it out for our next stream and I will make sure that we have it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend more than a couple minutes, uh, um, looking around. What I will likely do is I will likely install the mod that gives you the location. Uh, yeah. And go from there. Uh, unfortunate maybe that our first mod might have to be the one that points me to the last stone of fucking Baron Zaya, but if that'll work, maybe I could do that. Uh, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on stream trying to tra trace, uh, go on that wild goose chase though. Um, of course we can't find one. Insane. Insane. I wish clairvoyance would take you to it. Yeah. Does that not work? It's inside with the skeletons. I am at the hall of the dead. The catacombs now. Matt, I appreciate that. This is one that I, I was so busy talking about Fallout Boy. I really wasn't looking around super close here. Left, then down. Then down. So I suppose it's possible. <gasps> Chat! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Ah! Let's go! I'm freaking out. I just ran over my own foot with my desk chair. Yes! Oh my god, who suggested it? Who suggested it? Who suggested? Was it L. Dempsey who said? Who suggested it? Oh my god. I can't tell who was the first person to say, hey, Hall of the Dead. It was Scar. Scar, I have great news for you. Enjoy the sub, my friend. Enjoy the sub. Enjoy the emotes. Oh, is it not going to work? Oh. All right, give me one second. <laughs> Scar, enjoy the sub as soon as I can make it happen. There we go. Incredible. Thank you, Scar. Holy cow. Wow, we did it. 24. I'm going to click this button here in just a second. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm stoked. It's a new subscriber. Welcome to the cult. Hey. Arena says, I just tried to see how much time was left in the video. 
to see if he turns it on, turns it in on this video, or if I would need to wait for the next episode. <laughs> You're welcome, Scar. Thank you for the help. Holy cow. Thank you for the help. Enjoy this moment. It's the best part of the quest. It has to be. It better fucking be, Ronan. It better be the best moment. <laughs> you can blame my shitty Fallout Boy opinions for the reason that we accidentally missed this one, by the way. All right, here we go. What's going to happen? Also, shout out to L Dempsey for all the help. Holy cow. Speak to Vex. All right. Speak to Vex. I can do that. It's all Fallout Boy's fault. Fucking save rock and roll, man. Imagine crashes to desktop. Oh, what a journey. Uh. Oh, God damn it, Mars. God damn it. Vex, what do you have to say to me? What do you have to say to me? Sorry, I may distract you by making you go on a rant about save rock and roll. You did, but honestly, I'll take that distraction any day of the week, Void. Thanks for distracting me. Ryan, use Alt F4 to travel. Oh, wait, wait, shoot. Is that what you do? Alt F4. Uh, Vex is actually Good in the thingy. Again, Vex is in the thingy. And I spend so little time here, I never even remember exactly, precisely how to get there. There we go. Hi, Mars. How's it going, by the way? I'm so much happier now than I was three minutes ago. I was on the edge of despair a couple minutes ago, uh, Dempsey. I was like, oh, no. This is going to take some work. Ready for some work, or are you just going to wander around all day? Hey, Ve hey Vex, I'm going to so talk to you in a second. First off, off fuck day. off. Veckel, I got some news for you, too. I've recovered all of the journals of that necro mance boy in uh in Ingvild Barrow. Good. Could turn this in too. You hadn't forgotten about it. As promised, here's your payment for bringing them to me. Got it as part of a fair Two equally interesting two very equally interesting uh quests. Ingvild Barrow for Vekel mm -hmm. and then the Stones of Berenzaya for Vex. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's Come here, Vex. Need a few spare septums? I got the cure right here. I have found all of the stones of Baron's Aya. Oh my god, this feels so satisfying to click. I have found all of the stones of Baron's Aya, and yes, it took me a Wikipedia article and the help of many of my friends, all of whom are in chat right now. Uh, and some of, many of whom are in chat right now, but not all of them. Unbelievable. You must be the first person to set eyes on all 24 of them and... Well, the last two eras. The last two eras? Is it worth anything? What's it do? When I told you the set had to be complete, I left out a small detail. I honestly didn't think you'd ever get this I'm going to kill her. I'm going to kill her. If the stones were remounted on the crown, it would be of great benefit to the Thieves' Guild. I've forgotten something. What does that even mean? Ivory. You mean wealth? Not exactly. The crown is what the guild calls a paragon, oh. an object that enhances our thieving abilities. We have an ethereum but crown. At least that's what I'm told it does. Except for thieving. There hasn't been a paragon in this guild for hundreds of years. Does the crown still exist? I have it on good authority that the crown is within Tolvald's cave, dropped by a Dunmer caravan leaving Morrowind long ago. <laughs> if you could bring it back, we could restore the paragon and reap its benefits. Okay. You've planned this from the beginning? If we want to stay on top in Skyrim, the guild needs that paragon back. The man Without is it, non-stop. Petty thieves. I mean, you're a petty thief no matter what, but I am going to have this fucking crown. The crown of Baron Zaya. Where okay. Going? We have no stone unturned. The crown of Baron Zaya. Hey, we need to become a full member of the Thieves Guild, by the way. Do you, do you think we have it? Do you think we've done it? Maria, the princess, is in another castle? Literally. Holy shit. Even Another cave. Person. I've been through 24 of these bitches to get here so far. <laughs> 24 of these bitches. Oh my god. Very cool though. I'm into that. Okay. I like Abby already. We're going to be great friends. Oh, buddy. So where is this place? Where absolutely is this place? The Crown of Baranzaya. Oh man, I'm gonna get the Crown of Baranzaya and it's gonna be like lock picking and sneaking are both 15% more effective and I'm gonna throw something. 
Uh, okay. Uh, it's near Shore Stone, actually. Polvald's Cave, near Runevald and Anselvund. Okay. Well, shit. Let's go over there. No one say anything? Yeah, definitely no one say anything. Uh, by the way, this is still a- this is still a very spoilable moment. Still a very spoilable moment, so your- your cooperation on not telling me what this is, is... is... very much appreciated. No one say anything? Alex said anything. I'm telling on Alex. Alright, first off, we save. We save so hard, we've never hit the save button harder, because we have all 24 stones of Berenziah. Uh, let's do a little detect life. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm smarter than you are, game. I know how to find where the enemies are these days. I can also use a little bit more... That's a troll. Uh, souls. Soul. Do you have a soul? Beautiful. Chad, did you see that? Look at the right-hand side of the screen right now. My arrow has a shadow. Which, of course it does, right? On the wall? Oh my god. I was like, who else is shooting at this guy? No one, Ryan. It was your own goddamn... And now I wasted my ebony arrows. It was your own goddamn arrow. Where those arrows go? I need those back. Hold up. I need those back. 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 Uh, try to sprint, for, uh, sprint forward while crouched. I do need to try that. The little... Wait, there's a person here. The, uh... The roll? I just rolled straight through that booby trap. Oh yeah, we're rolling. Incredible. It's called good game design. <laughs> Alright. Um. Oh, another one. Hello. Hello. At what level, chat, do you guys think that I should actually go back to one-handed weapons? I think we're honestly at that point. Soon. One-handed is at 15. Two-handed is at like 86 now. Anytime, right? Coin purse. Restoration is now 52. Can you legendary a skill more than one time? Start dual wielding next? I sort of already missed my like old favorites though, right? Give me your soul. Give me your soul. Give me your soul. I missed my old favorites. Like I missed Dawnbreaker so much, honestly. It just feels like home. When Dawnbreaker's in my hand, I feel like I can do anything. This is a, a commercial for Lexapro, by the way. When I'm on my Lexapro, I feel like I can do anything. When Dawnbreaker's in my hand, I could do anything. All right, we got to get there before. Is it a Dwimmer ruin? That's a Dwimmer door. It said something about a... I thought she said a... Caravan of something. Oh my god. Should do life. No life. A big old coin purse only has 42 gold in it though. This is booby trapped by the way. Or something is. Dwarven sword of devouring. Dwimmer pan. Gold. What the fuck? Oh my god, what? See ya. Oh shit, I shut myself in. No, I shut myself in. No. I thought I was getting away from them. Gloom lurker? What does that even mean? Oh my god, you're fucking me up. We're gonna have to do a little bit of- we're gonna have to do a little bit of that. I- I just want to say, I did detect life before we started this fight. That's all I gotta say. 
And I didn't see anything. I did detect life before we started this fight. Like a good... Careful Skyrim player. Oh. Have you never fought high level fall? Oh shit, high level Falmer before? I don't know if we've ever had a Gloom Lurker before, honestly. You're missing more than one Dwemer Ruin if you count those. Uh, I would, I mean, I only count like the named Dwemer Ruins. Um, I just was surprised to see. Oh God, oh God, oh God, I'm so weak, I'm so weak. Fuck. Fuck. Ah! You absolute fuckers. Kill that guy and then try and heal and I didn't have time. Fuck. Damn it. Oh my god, we have an axe. Wait, we have an axe against elves. Falmer are snow elves. Is that what you're saying? We have a very specific... Does this work against Falmer? Feel free to front seat this. They're snow elves. It does? Oh my god, you guys are fucked now. I need to heal, but you guys are fucked as soon as I can heal. Oh shit. Okay, fuck it. We'll just do it. Oh yeah, you're dead. One hit? Not a one hit. <gasps> I'm so weak, I'm so weak, I'm so weak. Ah! Oh my god, we have a literal sliver of health right now. Whoa. Gotta love the acts of racism? I know, right? It's not great. Also, just kill you there. Okay. Oh my god, there's another one right there. What the fuck? Ooh. God, we're getting our asses kicked right now. Asses kicked here. But we're also taking a lot of light armor increases right now. That's what's happening. We leveled up. Level 68. You know what that means? The next level. The next level. Elemental Fury works on Wuthrad. Oh my god. That's so funny. What? That's so funny. Okay, uh, we did it. Okay. Yo. I think probably that's not a conversation I'm down to have on stream anyways. That feels like a conversation nobody wins by having, honestly. Barrel Dean Hill. Although you may have some great points, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know that this is the forum to talk about it, but... Partially just because I'm not the, like... I obviously have only experienced so little of the game compared to so many of you. Um, and also partially because it just bums me out. Alright, well, fuck. Great, there's you. Now that, we can all agree on that. Oh, buddy. Who... I don't want to fight Falmer in order to get this goddamn crown. Oh, God. Wuthred is also in my favorites list. I need to remember that. Ah! Fuck him up. Kill him. Fuck him up. Kill him. Okay. Bring Wuthred back out. Oh, I literally have it on two. I forgot. I put it on my hotbar at one point. Oh, my God. Totally forgot. You're so weak. You're so weak. Dead. Hoof. Shaman's key. Okay. I have a question about that. I have encountered so many shaman's keys before. Do I know what they do? I don't know that I do. Know for sure what a shaman's key does. Is it just generally like a key to something nearby? Your hotbar list is scary? Oh, you should have seen it before. Okay, we're gonna hit you with a arrow, and you don't see me. You don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Ah, oh, fuck. 
Why was that? That was so limp. Hi, Sushi. How's it going? How are we? Falmer heavy armor would look good on Lydia. Do you think Lydia agrees? God damn it. We're going until we get this crown. I don't know how much farther I have to go today. But we're going until we get this crown. Oh my god, you're fucking me up. Alright, all the tools on the toolbar. We paralyze you. There it is. Now we hit the shit out of you with Luthrad. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Quick save just to be safe. There's a fire inside of here. Beautiful. Any loot? Any loot? If I have to fight a Chorus, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. I do have to fight a, a spider. She's sworn to carry your burdens. She's sworn. To, I'm sworn to carry your burdens. Calm down. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. We're doing great. We're doing it. Ancient Nord armor is the best for Lydia. What is that what she's wearing currently? I think that's what she's wearing, right? Ancient Nord armor or am I wrong? I mean, she had Golden Saints stuff on for a while. She has the Ethereum crown on right now. I wonder... What's everyone's favorite follower? Mine's uh, Ilya, but I keep Jazargo with me. I mean, Jazargo, I would never tell Jazargo this because it would inflate Jazargo's ego to sizes that would have their own gravitational pull. However, Jazargo's up there. I like Lydia a lot. Um, other favorite followers. I liked Serana a ton. Serana was very cool. Where the fuck did you guys come from? You little shit. Oh no, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I need to save. Save. Remind me who Ilya is, chat? I barely remember who Ilya is, honestly. Um, but that's more about my memory than it is about Ilya. I'm sure. Sven for sure, definitely the best. Yikes, couldn't be me. Hi, Xander. How's it going? Holy shit. Hi. How are we? Oh my god. Thanks for two months. Wow. Thanks for also, Pog. Glad to be here for a second month. <laughs> Yo, I'm glad that you're here as well. Thank you for being here. Uh, how are we today, Xander? How's life? Welcome in. We're Skyrimming. We just got our 20... Our 20... Uh, fourth stone... Of Baron Zaya. It's time to find time to find the crown of Baron Zaya. We have no idea what's gonna happen. I can't wait. Elia was the mage in Darklight Tower. You helped kill her mother. Oh, I'm trying to put a face on it, but I don't remember. I might have to look. I might have to look later. Ooh, I was about to cast candlelight, but I don't know that I want to do that if there's a bunch of Falmer around. I would love to get the sneak attack on some of them. Yeah, right there. All right, let's see if I can pull this off. Kill, please. Thank God. Give me another kill, please. I want the souls, and I want to not have to fight them. How did that miss? Please tell me how that missed. Okay. Oh, that's a skeever. Uh, same old, same old. Just got finished with a sci-fi themed D and D game. My character got crushed. By a falling forklift. Any ideas on a new character name for me? You know what name uh, you should name your next character? You should name them Sekiro. It's a name I'm uh, slightly obsessed with right now after finishing the game. Oh my god. They really had to put me through a whole ass fucking boss fight to get there, didn't they? Look at the amount of enemies on the screen. What's happening? Ah! Oh, Uthrad. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Kill him. Oh my god. Kill the skeevers too. Fuck them skeevers. Holy shit. The red dots are going crazy. They really wanted it to make it... Wanted to make it feel like I had to earn it, huh? Yeah. 
The around of red dots on my screen is looking like the flags on my ex. Oh my god, Abby. We got a fucking comedian out here. Like the, the flags on my ex. <sighs> and also, that sounds yikes. Oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we got you in here. Are there any others? I would like to mark for death a couple of you at one time. Oh my god, I need to get this freaking crown before we go to bed tonight. Before we end this episode. Oh my god, kill him. I'm gonna die otherwise. Hide inside of here. It's fine. We're gonna hang out in here and loot. You son of a bitch. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Okay, Princess Pride. Princess Bride. Greatest movie of all time or second greatest movie of all time? Greatest movie of all time, right? We're all in agreement? Cool. Good talk. It's only 2 a.m. in England. The EU people in the chat who are hanging out with us right now, you amaze me. Because I am in bed by 11 every night no matter what. These days. No matter what. Oh, shit. We need to... <gasps> Fuck. We need to level up. We need to level up. Don't kill me, but I haven't seen Princess Bride. Abby, you just haven't seen it yet. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. You just haven't had your entire world rocked. It's not even actually... Here's the thing. I have to go all the way back because I'm a dumbass. No, my dumbassery has come back to bite me in the ass. Assery. Oh, no. I told you to quick save. Damn, I didn't read chat either. It's fine. Now I'll over quick save. I'll quick save far too much. It's not that Princess Bride is a particularly mind blowing movie. It is just a fantastic movie that is so full of heart. Oh, it's so full of heart. We quick save after every enemy. This might be a sneak attack, actually. No? Yes, it was. Oh, that's a death. Beautiful. Okay. So that actually went better. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I don't go to sleep until 4 a.m. What about Big Lebowski? I have not read the uh, Princess Bride book. I also have... I like Big Lebowski. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Okay, chat. It's really dark, but I'm trying to stay hidden, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna light a. Uh, I'm not gonna light a torch just yet. Did I just hear a word of power? Wait. Oh, that would be great. I think I heard a word of power. Oh, there's also somebody up up here, if I remember right. Where the fuck? Oh, yep, right here. Hi, friend. Die. Die. Alright. We go again. Quick save between every enemy. We go again. Princess Bride book is hilarious. Yeah, we talked about it, Mars. That's right. I was just sitting here thinking. I was like, somebody in my life loves the book. It's you. I do, I do love how Volendrung gives you stamina back. It's so good. You can just go to Pound Town for years at a time. Go to Pound Town for years at a time, he says. All right, we quick save and we're out. Beautiful, beautiful. We came from that way. We went up that way. So we probably have to go through this thing, right? I really loved the movie Frank. I don't know that I've heard of that, Bree. Shawshank Redemption. Not a fun movie, but that's a great movie. That's a great movie, Beraldino. Holy shit. Chamos, hi. How's it going? Congrats on your tournament today. Yo, fourth place. Let's go. Uh, how'd you feel? How'd you perform? How'd you do? Uh, We should be saving these for next level. These kills. I think the... Uh, the I need to level up. You're right. I'll do that right now. But I think it stacks. Like I think it. I think it goes on. Beyond 67. Right. I remember people telling me that back in the day. 
Um, like we're part of the way to 69 now. Oh, the jokes. I'm dumb. Got it, got it, got it. Sorry. Sorry, I'll just be over here. Never mind. Ignore me. Oh my god, Kingsley's dreaming downstairs, and that scared the shit out of me. I was like, who the fuck is here? Speech level 98? I think that was just bugged earlier, chat. We are at 98. And then, oh yeah, then it went up to 108. Okay. Uh, we could probably... What does this one do? Sync attacks with daggers. We don't want that. Fuck it. Who cares about a perk? Who cares about a perk? Got a couple spideys. Hello, please die. Oh, all right. Oh, they're not dead. They're not dead. In no way, shape, or form are they dead. I've done better. Chama says, I did all right, though. Four out of seven. Well, hey. As long as you feel okay about it. As long as you feel okay about it. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King is a perfect film. Oh, I don't know how I feel about saying... So here's the deal. I love Return of the King. I love Lord of the Rings. I don't know how I feel about any movies... Any series of movies, the third movie being a perfect movie. Because it sort of has to have included in it the first two movies, right? Like... Return of the King might be the perfect movie. But it also has to have the first two as a viewing experience to have it make any sense and or be any sort of meaningful experience. So it's like, it might be the best, the perfect third movie ever. I don't know if it's a perfect movie though, right? Because to me, a perfect movie is like, that's a one sit cinematic experience. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a movie expert. Oh my god, there's so many freaking Falmer. Holy shit. Let me kill one, please. Oh no, it's a Chorus. Fuck you. I hate you bitches so much. Of course I have to kill one of you to get a crown. Of course. Hmm. This rules out Empire Strikes Back then? I mean, it's also like... I guess what we're talking about is like, perfect movie? What does that even mean? Does it mean the best movie? Does it mean... Um, alright. Well, shit. What does it even mean, you know? Um, does it mean like, technically... Technically best, most beloved, greatest piece of art? Um, I don't know. I would love to have that conversation about books, but I'm less... Uh less able to do it for less skilled and able to do it for movies <laughs> by that metric does any film that references anything at all the viewer may not know may not know not work like what about it requiring prior, prior viewing discounts that you know it means your mom I mean what, what I'm saying is that I think that people who say that <laughs> uh, Return of the King is the perfect movie uh, are probably including in some way in that some sorts of assumption about how good Fellowship of the Ring and or Two Towers is and I just think it probably changes it a little bit compared to standalone movies that's all alright you tell me I gotta kill these bitches and then go past them Meg's home by the way she's home from her long day at work or was it up here? Was it up here? Oh, fuck you, Chorus, then. I'm gonna go up here. Hmm. One more Falmer. It's the only red dot left on our... on our screen. The only red dot left on the screen. Break his ankles. Smash his chest in. Potion of ultimate healing. All right. Please, dear God, let that be the end. Please, dear God, let that be the end. Uh, I don't know that it was the end. No? Maybe? Where does this go? 
I just want the crown. I want to be crowned Queen of Baron Zaya. Please. Please let me be crowned Queen of Baron Zaya. It was not a word of power that we heard earlier, by the way. It was not. Oh, shit. Another Falmer. Fuck. I don't think someone would enjoy Return of the King with no knowledge of other Lord of the Rings stuff. Doesn't necessarily apply to all films from series. I think their I think their design their enjoyment would probably be lessened for sure, right? I think it ah uh, I don't even know if their enjoyment would be lessened. I think their enjoyment would be less full than someone who who had I don't know what the ideal amount of Lord of the Rings knowledge is. This is incredible, by the way. What the hell? But it's at, to you know in order to view the Return of the King and have a great experience, but it's probably some. I don't know if it's like. Has read the books, has seen the two prior movies. That's sort of what I mean is like, I, I, I think it's just like a slightly different metric for trap. Cool. <gasps> a ghost. What's happening here? Tattered journal? Hearing things in the darkness, every sound seems amplified, and it's hard to sleep over the sobbing. Uh, Madras has started hallucinating from hunger. That name seems kind of familiar. Says she saw a white elf peering out at us from the dark corners of the tunnel. Used to be a battle mage and tried to hold them off. Caused a cave in that left in caused a cave in that left some escape. So, that let some escape. B, we were trapped with these things, but we were trapped with these things. Now hold us prisoner, giving us hope of escape. Okay. Hmm. What's in here? Unfortunately, guys, we might be really... What the hell? We might be really close, but I'm going to have to call this a stream here in a second. Battle of Red Mountain. I also think you can absolutely love the films without having read the books. For sure, Mars. For sure. I think there is no in any way, shape, or form uh, requirement to read the books uh, for, any book that it, for any book that is made into a movie or movie that is made into a book. I don't think you have to do the other one. But for the third in a series, I think there can sometimes be a little bit of a like, how do we judge it without also having known what comes before? Not because you like know what happens plot-wise, but like... You know, I think so many of the special moments in Return of the King are only special because... Are not only special, are much more special because... Uh, you know... Because of, like, things that mirror, things that reflect, things that, uh... All the bi... Holy shit, it just occurred to me! Of course, there's all these biographies of Baron Zaya that I've never read in the game. Before uh, Stones of Baron Zaya. Biography of Baron Zaya. Yeah. Ryan, you're so close. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. I read the books and was confused. I, read, I tried to read the books at one point and I was confused and I didn't like it. And uh, I decided that I would never read them. And then five years later, I came back and I was like, oh shit, these are incredible. Uh, okay. We'll keep going. This might just be a long little YouTube uh, episode. Meg might pop her head in at some point. What do I have to do tomorrow? I don't, nothing. It's my day off, you know? We're still going to stream, though. I don't know. It's an interesting conversation, though. It's an interesting conversation. It's sort of like what we were talking about with, like... Uh, with Dune, right? Now Dune's going to be two movies. Dear, dear God, I hope it will be. Death comes for you now. What? Dunmer Ghost. Oh, hello. Death comes for you. Someone living among the dead. Dunmer Ghost. Dunmer Ghost. These two Dunmer Ghosts are freaking out. Are you fighting each other? 
You are? That little chamber right before we walked in here was so interesting. See you, Matt. Thanks for being here. Good night. Okay. Don't know if I was supposed to have picked a side. The cart with all of the books. It looked like a like a crushed cart with all of the books, maybe. What do these ash piles have? Just a bunch of elven stuff. Okay. What a weird room. A fork in the river. Hmm. The Real Baron Zaya, book five. Sounds like maybe I should be reading these goddamn books. And the crown of Baron Zaya. Oh, I can't wait to see. Look at how beautiful this is. I can't wait to see what this looks like with all the gems on it. The stones. Recover the crown of Baron Zaya and return to Vex. Okay. Well, unfortunately... I think we might have to call it there. I think we need to call it there. I think we'll be doing it tomorrow. <laughs> I think we have to call it there. If we just keep doing one more thing, we'll be here for forever. Oh, man. Don't you dare? Don't you dare? How many minutes do you think it would be? Um, is it just back to Vex? Five, five more minutes? See, the thing is, I don't know if we also have to exit this place, and I don't know what that would look like, and... Keep the light going. Keep the light going. Keep the light going. Bye, Walrus. Did I miss anything? It's not over yet. We just grabbed the crown. We just grabbed the crown. Looks like we might be at an exit. Maybe? No? Can I get out of here? No? Okay. I keep tripping on shit and getting knocked all over the place. Do I have to walk back out? Hmm. Five more minutes won't hurt. Yeah, but will it be five minutes if I have to also find a way out? I don't know. You turds, this is how you get longer Skyrim episodes. We just do them as live streams and you just say, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. <laughs> There's no door here. Okay. Oh, buddy. Sanders' computer threatened to explode on you? That's no good. Let's see if there was a quick way out to the right. Or, or to the to the left here. There might have been. I don't know. This is only... Hello. More Falmer, by the way. We need the propulsion gun. Whack, I was going to make the same joke earlier. Oh, my God. Clairvoyance time. Make it a solid 30. You won't, coward. You turds. Oh my god, I'm so weak, I'm so weak. Heal, heal, heal. I'm like a child who's trying to eke out a few more minutes before bedtime. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. Ah! YouTube, if this episode... Oh no! I hope I've quick saved. Oh. If this episode is an hour and a half long, you know who to blame. It's all of these people in chat. Uh, Okay. Beautiful people in chat. We grabbed it. We just hadn't quite gone back. Okay. Skyrim me daddy. Oh, let's see if we can get a sneak attack on him too. That might be nice. The real thing we're bargaining with here is, uh, is how Megan's doing. I haven't, she hasn't come up. Oh shit. She hasn't come up yet. So I haven't been able to ask her how work was and how she how she's holding up normally i'm off right at 10 because that's about when she gets home and then it's like uh we hang out for a couple seconds before bed but everybody deserves to stay up late playing video games once in their life once every once uh every once in a while right all right you little shit where are you going come back here i have a racist axe i can use um, you guys, okay, now I realize that that sounds very bad. You guys are not holding me from Meg. Don't worry, don't worry. She, Megan is a very adult and uh, wise person, and we are both emotionally mature, and she will tell me if she needs me to get off, and I would tell, I would tell her if I needed something from her, and don't you worry. 
And I would listen if she told me, and... Bros before, uh, bros before, uh, the love of my life, my life partner, my soulmate, my, um, the second half of my, of my soul. Yeah, 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 bros before them. Yep. 100%. You guys don't take my quality time. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stop looting. We're on a crunch. Trust me. That's why I stopped looting it. Will you talk to me? You're waving at me. What's up? Ruined trail book? Map, we traded a glass dagger. Five minutes, by the way. Bullshit. Five minutes, my ass. Map, we traded a glass dagger to get is a fake. We can't find the pass marked over the mountains. Should have tried for the rift. Took shelter from the storm in the ruins. Stepped on a pressure plate. Trapped us inside. Gildren said he's heard the dwarven roads. Dwarven roads that lead under the mountains have to try. Okay. Uh, shit, I should have grabbed that. We grab it. We grab it. What are you doing? Will you talk to me? Hello. Hi. What's up? Have you heard about Little Indigestion on YouTube? You should subscribe. Oh, what's happening? Where are you going? Starbury says, I feel pretty. My hair is all nice. Let's go. Ah, you guys are sweet. You guys are sweet in the comments. Sweet, sweet peoples. Oi, you guys just pop out of the fucking wall. There's so many of you. Oh my god. That was a solid impression of me. Oh, your voice is much better than that. Ah! Quick save, quick save, quick save. Oh my god, I'm getting fucked up. All right. When in doubt, crossbow it out. When in doubt, cross bow it out. You're dead. That one died. There's somebody else here. I don't know where though. Something over there. Somebody above me still? You. Fucker. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Just some loot in here. Ryan, have you read Telltale Heart and Mask of the Red Death? I've not read Mask of the Red Death, I don't think. Um, is that Poe? Hi, Harper. How's it going? Holy shit. Red Death is a great story. I don't know it off the top of my head. Is it Poe? Have you read Cask of Amontillado? That's my question for you. Cask of Amontillado is probably my favorite uh, Poe story. Um, and also, if you have, if you have read these... But you have not read A Rose for Emily by William Faulkner. You should read that. I don't know why, but I feel like those would... Oh, my God. Lightning. I feel like those go well together. You fucker. I love Telltale Heart. You may have read it, Ryan. It's a big one. I knew it smelled like... I sort of feel here. like we may... Holy shit. I feel, sort of feel like we may have... Holy shit, Finick. Thank you so much for the follow. How's it going? Or the raid. Oh my god, sorry. I'm fully dead brain because we're going I'm losing my grip on reality. slightly longer than we normally go here on stream. Uh, welcome in. Thank you so much for the read. Hi, friends. Hello, hello. Okay. Here is what we're going to have to do. We are going to have to call this episode here. We're going to call this episode here. There's too much chaos. We're going to call it here. Tomorrow, we will be back to finish I'm the crown of Baron Zaya. Until then, if you enjoyed this episode, like and a positive comment down below. And we'll see you.